Welcome back, guys. So, um, as you know, I like to share what I the, the stuff that I find, findings of my experiments, and this happens to be one of them. You see, this NR200 PK thing has has been around since last year, August, so it's almost a year, right? It's July already. And we're coming to the mid of July, and it's supposed to be dismantled a couple of months ago, but it's still around because I'm doing, I did experiments like this, and I've um, finally found some time to record this video for my findings. So basically, if you are running a graphics card, like regardless the orientation, place fans directly on the graphics card and you get the best results. So here's the benchmark results. Vertical alignment clearly is not the best way because you need to have a slim graphics card to fit slim fans. Pointless. Furthermore, if you're putting it vertical, Clearly, you want to show with glass and you don't care so much about thermals. So if you want your graphics card to have good thermals, place it at the usual horizontal mount, have fans like what I did in the video above. And then for the cooler, you can put um, tower, tower, shorter tower or whatever air cooling with fans or even put AIO. Clearly, the, the Cooler Master NR200 NR200P is my all time favorite when it comes to no compromise in thermals for a reasonably small casing, SFF that is, below 20 liters. So yeah, this is indeed what I think is the best. So if you have a casing like this, do an experiment and find out what's the best for your, well, for the optimized thermals. That's all from me for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video useful and informative. If you like more of this kind of content, do check out the videos at the side and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.